So a lot of dentists don't know. Maybe they need help from the dental laboratory technician. We made a stock abutment and then crown is going to fail. It's, uh, 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 it's, you, you cannot do that. To me, that was literally garbage. We let doctors know, you know, this is a problem, especially when patients don't have any room. That's why we make custom button very small. I don't recommend the zirconia, even though screw retain, it's going to fail because there's no support. What is the best that maybe you could do UCLA technique or we cast, that's why it's UCLA technique is a cat, wax and cast is better and then full metal is better. Fused together is better. So first we have to get correct angulations. We have to bring in as much as possible. It depends on the Jason T's outside and bring it inside as much as possible. That's number one. Number two, we have to looking at the implant size about compared to Jason T tissue height. Whenever they have a gummy smile and the tissue size is different level, cosmetically is a problem. It's displeasing. Maybe they don't notice it, but I do notice it. And number three, you cannot get a good positioning about tissue position. Okay. A bottom positioning is extremely important. Like I mentioned, there's three different topics. Get the angulation. You have to see the tissue contour, good positioning tiss. Okay. And then we have to make custom abutment. So those three things to get the best result of a custom abutment implant crown, of course, screw retain. Sometimes cement retain fine. I'm a dental laboratory technician. So I work with the dentist only. It's not the patient. We are aesthetic dental laboratory. I'm, I'm doing this business it's more than 36 years now. I wish everybody success and then everybody has a beautiful smile ever with a hygiene. That's my goal. So I all the time trained my employees, our team, and I published so many this kind of video in social media internationally. We let doctors know so they can see whenever they have a time, but they have to explain with the patient. So that communication is the best, okay? To make the highest aesthetic, and I wish my patient as an implant as, as much longer than than we expected, 10, 20, 30 years, whatever. Like I mentioned earlier, we're talking about tissue, contouring, and uh, angulation, those kind of thing. It's very imperative. We got the cases from the doctor. We work with uh, your work. You send me the model, you send me the tissue like this, whatever reason, whatever implant, it doesn't matter to me. We have to design a good custom abutment. So usually angulation is great, or sometimes angulation is far out the facially. Angulation is different compared to Jason T's. So the angulation is about 25 degree or 30 degree. So that angulation, we have to correct it. And not only that, whenever we see the tissue side, they have to looking at the margin. They have to looking at the CJ. So I recommend, highly recommend actually, implant provisional for anteriors all the time because we can see tissue level is lower then we can cut it then we make the custom bottom on the top of that so make sure it's not showing the implant site so i highly recommend the implant provisional when we have a problem tissue is lower some patient is, is extremely high smile some patient gummy smile some patient cannot open like this. Depends on probably 20, 30%. They can take a picture, but we need a good documentation from the doctor's side. Show them to our before after from laboratory designs so they can see obviously. So patient have to know what is this cause? What is this problem? How can I solve this issue? What I'm saying is that we just let them know. It's no surprise, okay? We just let them know as much as possible. Because like I said, patient, don't understand if what I don't do custom implant abutment, we have to let patient know is better. And then we always made the custom abutment, no tie base, because whenever you make tie base, you easily fail. Anyway, implant custom abutment depends on the size of the tooth for the tissue positioning. Not only that aesthetic, not only that hygiene, not only that function, which is occlusion, just like chewing.
different positioning, teeth, canine is different, premolar is different, molar is different, upper molar is different, lower molar is different. And then we know the size of the tooth. So technician doesn't matter to reshape program, doesn't matter exocad program, it doesn't matter. As a matter is a technician have to sit down to do what is this tooth number? Number three, upper molar, fine. So I have to make rectangular shape. What about the lower number 24? Okay, so make very tiny one compared to Jason T's. Okay, then we can do that. So I'm trying to get a positioning, especially here is very dangerous, very tough. Uh, to me, it's the most tough case is lower single central because tiny, tiny space with adjacent teeth trying to match natural teeth harmony, natural teeth color, it's very, very difficult to match it. So I concentrate the tissue, but sometimes I can make the zirconia or bottom is better because of the color. The color is right, texture is right. They want to see, look good, that's what they want. But dentists and I care about hygiene. That's the most important thing. The bottom line is hygiene. That's the number one, which is nobody mentioned it. Hygiene will going to fail in the future implant side or not fail it. So I wish I can get the tissue height whenever they place implant. I wish I can get the same CJ with tissue side. But sometimes we did not get it. So cause we can make the more over rich, extended the facial, which is not a good idea for the hygiene. But aesthetically, we are stuck. The patient don't care about hygiene. Well, they care about how how well they know. But they only care about what look like, right? This matter is we have to position the tissue. Let's say the anterior teeth is wider compared to lower teeth. Lower teeth is very tiny. Upper is more bigger. Premolar is avoiding. Molar is square. Upper is rectangular shape. I'm talking about molar. So that positioning is good positioning, like I said. So if I make the implant is too fat, too big, just like Jason T's, and the occlusion forces is too much, you get the face like that. So occlusion contact, okay? Occlusion contact is very imperative to me. Even I make the custom, but depends on my custom bottom and size. If I say custom bottom is A910, they'll be great. But the problem is custom abutment height, three millimeter, two millimeter, even four millimeter. Eh, that's the problem, especially back to us. All the time, look at the Jason T's. What Jason T's look like? Jason T's, for example, if Jason T's all, all grinding, just like flat, what my teeth will be, what my implants will be is a flat. But what about all Jason T's just as a cusp? Fase, nice, beautiful anatomy. I'm trying to follow Jason T's to get the occlusion contact. The much better the occlusion contact and then more mobility is better, hygiene is better. So bottom one, crown, and then gotta be more smooth transition. I call emergency profile. It's a very imper imperative, okay? And not only that, the underneath gotta be polished. I know the laboratory problem. Because doctor said A4, and zirconia, for example, I made A4, occlusion enamel does not look like A4. It's more darker. It's a little tricky part. So we cannot polish much, but we can polish underneath anyway to get the better implant zirconia product. I'm using the BND dental uh, technology, by the way. The abutment and the crown got to be smooth transition. Okay, smooth transition and then hygiene, that's the best. Okay, so we're trying to make the occlusion occlusion uh, surface, okay, getting smaller than normal contour. For example, upper molar vocal corridor is fine, but the linger may diminish, just like decreased, decreased and more smaller than the other Jason T's. Why? We're trying to avoiding the friction of our occlusion contact. I don't need a huge amount of occlusion contact too. But I highly recommend they can do implant provisionals. From single implant, three implant, five implant, ten implant, I would like to see how is the bite. And the last things we have to looking at the, the final restoration. 
before I smash, okay, put it in there. We just check this. Underneath is crown, okay, implant here, and this is natural cheese. And then crown here, and then um, can show them there how we make the highest aesthetic as possible. So next times I would get more extension about this topic to get the anterior aesthetic and full implant, full mouth zirconia implant occlusion contact from the uh, verification jig or photogrammetry in a digital way. Thanks for watching my video today. Have a wonderful day.